or a couple hours after I landed. But this is another PhD travel vlog. I've done one of these vlogs before for my Baltimore vlog. So this time I am in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm going to the APM conference. So it's Association for Public Policy and Management Conference. Not presenting or anything, but I am volunteering and I'm serving as a discussant. So I just am kind of like helping out with the conference. I got free registration in exchange for it. So I just figured like this is one of the bigger policy conferences. Yeah, I'm here for just a couple of days. I'm excited and we will see how it goes. So my two goals for this conference, one is to just network with someone new. My second goal is to just kind of get more familiar with how policy people talk about things because my research topic is a little bit I don't want to say it's it's not directly policy in the way that people conceptualize it. And I'm trying to just get a better flavor for how I can communicate that in a way that makes sense to policy folks. <laughs> so those are my two goals. I'm gonna get ready for bed. The Warriors play actually in 15 minutes. So maybe I can catch a little bit of that game and try to get to bed early. Three hours later. Hello. I'm in pain because the Warriors just lost to the Nuggets by three points and I stayed up until one to watch their game and now I have to wake up in like five hours. So anyway, we're gonna go to bed. Day one fit. Not loving it, but I have no other choice. <laughs> back in the room. So it's about 10 o'clock now. Well, it's 9.32, not even. I'm actually not feeling too tired. Maybe it's just adrenaline, but I had my volunteering shift at seven and it honestly, it was kind of nice to get there early because I could start to get a feel for everything, like where stuff is. So I kind of just ended up helping where I needed, where people needed help. So I tried to get people water. So like helped fold sweatshirts cause they got sweatshirts, which let me show y'all. I just continue to be amazed because this is like the first bigger conference I've been to. So, but like, look at these, they were also giving out long sleeves, but it's nice. So I got a black one because I live to wear black sweatshirts as you can probably tell from my vlogs. They also gave us these booklets, which I showed earlier, I think, but it has like the complete program in them. Some coffee from a place really close by. It's called Corner Bakery. I think it's sweet cream cold brew. I also got BLT, or it's like a panini sandwich. So yeah, I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. And I have another headcount shift, which is basically just like you go into the different sessions and take headcounts of like how many people are in the sessions. I'm not really sure what they do with that information. I also didn't even know they did that at sessions um, or at conferences. So something to keep in mind. I'm probably gonna aim to go to a session or two in the afternoon. And there's also, a fair that's happening but because i didn't get a lot of sleep i'm just gonna chill for a little and then i'm gonna go back I feel like I mentioned in my previous vlog, 
every conference has a different vibe. So, so far I have been to a more of like a management one. I've been to a sociology one, and this is my first public policy one. I guess I'm just reflecting on the fact that I feel like I don't, I guess I feel like I don't really fit in with a lot of the people here. Maybe it's because I'm not presenting. Maybe I'll feel differently tomorrow, but I just feel like at conferences, sometimes it's really easy to just feel very disconnected from people. It's one of those things where like, especially if it's your first time, you don't really know anybody. And so it feels like everybody else already knows people. And you know, basically, even though there are people from my school here, I've seen a couple of them, so it's been nice, but I, yeah, I'm functionally uh, by myself on this. I don't know, man. I thought I wanted to maybe pursue tenure track positions. The more that I do this, the more that I'm a part of this world, the less confident I am that that's what I want to do. Best way I can describe it is that I don't feel like myself. I don't feel like I can be myself in these spaces. And I feel like things that I, my strengths and the things that I value are not valued in these spaces. <laughs> I do feel like there's a bit of a mismatch and I'm just, I think I'm just always confronted with this when I go to conferences. I'm gonna keep going to conferences. I have two more coming up, but I'm gonna get a sense of other conferences. Maybe it's just the conferences I've gone to. Yeah, no one has been mean, like no one has been rude, but it's just that feeling that I have. And maybe in part it's in my head, I don't know. Maybe it's because I am just new. Like I have to remind myself that a lot of these people, like senior scholars have been doing this for like 20 something years. And so yes, they're gonna be more confident and feel more at home because they've been going and doing these things and engaged in their work and meeting all these people for 20 years. And I'm like just starting. So I'm trying to remind myself of all of that, but yeah, it's, um, it's kind of hard. So I'm gonna talk to maybe one of my committee members about this and just see how she feels. Get some words of wisdom. Just finished my regrade requests. <sighs> I'm <laughs> so tired, but I still have like three more things I'm gonna do. Realistically, it's two more things. So I still need to grade this most recent week's weekly responses and then prep for the panel discussion tomorrow. So I just need to read over the papers and come up with some common themes across the papers so that we can have a good discussion about everything tomorrow. It smells good. We're gonna do a taste test. It's what it looks like warmed up. There's a specific flavor in this that is making it very distinct from other peach cobbler that I've had. And yet I can't put my finger on it. It's very good. <laughs> Y'all will recognize this outfit from my last conference. I'm really realizing that I don't have, like I have pants, professional pants, but I don't actually have enough professional shirts that I like. So anyway, it's fine though. This is the last day of the conference for me. I'm gonna head over and do my head counts now. I'm back from my head count shift. It was really nice of the person who was coordinating everything. She gave me an APAM um, Yeti mug. Like, isn't that cool? She just, she said thank you for being such a good volunteer. I didn't really like end up doing that much extra. It just kind of was, I showed up and did what I needed to do and helped how I could. I did like a couple extra head counts, but it wasn't hard. But yeah, it was nice, it was nice for her. So was thinking of maybe going to Centennial Park. It's like super close to where I am. And apparently there's like a lot within that area. My Uber driver is telling me there's like a lot of kind of more touristy things to do in that area. So I was thinking about maybe going 
for a little bit. Also thought about maybe going to Chinatown, but Chinatown is like a 20 minute drive from where I am. Like I don't really think I have 40 minutes to do that. So I am thinking about maybe for lunch going to Fox Bros because Fox Brothers, I don't know if people call it Fox Bros, is it has barbecue and I wanna have some barbecue. Also a place recommended to me by my Uber driver. <laughs> I think I got really lucky with my Uber driver on the way here because she was giving me all sorts of recommendations. She also said to fly, if you're flying into Atlanta, to fly Delta or flying out of Atlanta, in, in or out to fly Delta or American Airlines. Especially if you're flying out of Delta, their terminal is just like really nice. Anyway, let me prep and then maybe we'll explore a little. Okay, y'all, it's like 10.45. I finished prepping as much as I can at this point for the panel. Like, I have decent notes on like my recommendations for paper or just like questions I have for them, but I don't know that I really have any good things to add about the themes. My hope is that I can like glean a little bit more from their presentations and hearing about their work and hearing the answers to people's questions about like their papers and just kind of go from there. I also forgot to tell you guys, but this soap dispenser that was attached to the shower with command strips um it fell while i was showering last night <laughs> i did tell the airbnb host that it happened i sent them a photo and thankfully they were very understanding and were like it's okay i didn't really like that thing it was very cheap so don't worry about it so <sighs> very thankful that that all worked out okay <laughs> So I'm back in the Airbnb now. I'm definitely hungry and I do still want to go get some type of Asian food down here. But in preparation for the evening because I may be consuming a drink tonight, I'm gonna have the cheesecake, the like pumpkin cheesecake that my server recommended to me. So let's try it. Also, I didn't, I don't know what I was expecting when I heard that, but it wasn't what I got in a good way. So this is what it looks like. I was expecting like a slice, you know? That's cute. Mmm. Um, this is so good. Okay, if this is how this tastes, so this was seasonal. I can only imagine their other desserts are really good. So if you go to Fox Bros, I would definitely get dessert. Even if you can't eat it there, get it to go. Because this is like, you know, when, I, when she said cheesecake, I was expecting something like super thick, but look, it has like the graham cracker crust right here. And then the pumpkin is like light and fluffy. I don't know if you can tell. And then it's like marshmallow, I think on top. No. Ah. That is so good. <laughs> 